In this scenario, we'll show you how to reconcile bank accounts. You can import electronic bank statements from your bank to quickly fill in the payment reconciliation journal window. So you can apply payments and reconcile the bank account. Uh, there's a, an app that's built in. It's called the Yodely Bank Feed Service. And it's actually installed as what we refer to as an extension to Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. And it's ready to be enabled for your clients. So there's four steps in this scenario. We'll link a bank account. We'll establish the automatic bank import. We'll match transactions and then reconcile. So first we'll go ahead and, and link the bank account. So I'm logged in as the, the accountant role here. And over on the left hand side, I can go ahead and open up my bank accounts. Uh, the link to bank the link the bank account by selecting creating new from the ribbon. So you'll see here I can create the create a new bank account. And in the online bank account linking window, you now can search, use the search function to go find your financial institution. You see Chase, Wells Fargo, et cetera. Uh, I'll go ahead and type in one of the fictitious banks that I'm using for demo purposes, uh, DAG or DAG, and I'll select that uh, DAG bank. And then you'll have to put in your username and, and your password. So uh, this is what will authenticate. This is what the bank service, uh, the bank feed service prepares to link uh, the first line bank account at the specified bank to a new bank in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Since I don't have a real bank account, I'll select a cancel here, but this would be where you'd complete that login information. Now you'll see that my bank account is linked. Uh, to the bank service. And to prove that out in the search box, if I type in bank feed, you'll see that I get the Yodely feed service. And I just want to test that setup connection. It says, yep, you're good. And those settings are valid. So the next step is to establish the automatic bank import. So again, open up the bank accounts. It's the default list on the window on the left hand side. And so in the ribbon, you'll see where I have this automatic bank statement import. And so with the bank feed set up, you can import transactions and schedule that feed. I think by default here, we've got seven days. So what will happen is when the bank feed service is enabled, you can set up a bank account to automatically import the new statements into the payment reconciliation window every hour, two hours or so. And again, note that the, the transactions for payments that have already been posted as applied will not be imported. So we've enabled it. We've turned on, you know, bring in every seven days. And now I have to, next step is to reconcile the, the bank receivables and the payable accounts uh, by applying payments recorded in their bank to the unpaid invoices and credit memos and other entries in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. So from here, from the ribbon, you'll select the payment reconciliation journal. You see it's tagged under the, the bank section. And we'll select the bank account. And then from there, you'll notice now that I've got all this data that was fed in, so from this window, you immediately see the, the level of confidence, right? The low medium on the left hand side, that's the, the level of confidence the application has for matching entries. And that level is driven by the transaction mount, the date, uh, the description and the text. And as you grow with the system, it actually learns um, how to, it learns and, and connects those two together. So from here, what I'll do is under the Actions tab, before I do anything, is I want to select uh, Post, and I want to have some additional options, and that is the Test Report. So I'll select on the Post, and then Test Report to preview the resulting payment reconciliation and any of the consequences before I actually perform the posting on it. So here's the, the bank account statement. You can see what came in on the balances uh, from the import and then what I have in the, in the application. And then the last step would be to, to reconcile, right? It's month end close, time to reconcile the bank and statement, the bank statement with the ledger entries. And so from this window, you would select post uh, payments and the reconcile out. 
And so the goal of this presentation, again, was just to show you how we can remove some of the, the barriers of manual entry, how we can improve efficiency and accuracy and stay current with our bank accounts.